Hello everyone, I am back again with the same quadratic equation which has been solved in previous two videos. In the previous videos, this equation was solved using Vieta's formula as well as the method of factorization. In this video, I will solve it using the quadratic formula. It's only for the academic interest. The solution with the quadratic formula is quite cumbersome. So let us see that how do we solve it using the quadratic formula. To solve this equation, first we express it in the form of a standard quadratic equation and bring all the terms on the left hand side to get x square plus x minus 19 minus root 19 is equal to 0 and compare it with the standard form of the quadratic equation given as ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So we can observe that a becomes equal to 1, b is 1 and c is equal to minus 19 minus root 19 which is a radical expression. And the roots of this equation are given as x is equal to minus b plus minus root b square minus 4ac by 2a. b square minus 4ac is called the discriminant and here since c is in radical form itself the evaluation of b square minus 4ac is the most critical part of the solution. So we first evaluate b square minus 4ac under root before evaluating the two roots root b square minus 4ac comes as equal to root of 1 square minus 4 into 1 into minus 19 minus root 19 after putting the values of a b and c this simplifies to as being equal to root of 1 plus 4 into 19 plus root 19 the minus signs cancel each other and this can be written as equal to root of 77 plus 4 root 19 this is a radical expression and we have to take the square root of the radical expression under root. So to do this we express it as equal to root of 77 plus 2 into 2 root 19. One of the 2's we take inside the root and it is expressed again as equal to 77 plus 2 root of 2 square into 19. This becomes equal to 77 plus 2 root 4 into 19 or equal to root of 77 plus 2 root 76. Now we have to find two factors of 76 whose sum is equal to 77. So those two factors are 76 and 1. Then we express this term as equal to root of 76 plus 1 plus 2 into root of 76 into 1. This can be expressed as equal to root of root 76 whole square plus root 1 square plus 2 root 76 into 1. This is full square of the summation of root 76 plus root 1 and it becomes equal to root of root 76 plus root 1 whole square. The whole square term and the root cancel each other and the expression becomes equal to root of 76 plus 1. Root 76 can be further simplified and the expression is given as equal to 2 root 19 plus 1. So the value of the discriminant under root b square minus 4ac comes equal to 2 root 19 plus 1. Now we put this value and the other values of a and b in the quadratic formula. So x becomes equal to minus 1 plus minus 2 root 19 plus 1 divided by 2 into 1. The first root comes by taking the positive sign and it is equal to minus 1 plus 2 root 19 plus 1 by 2 in the numerator minus 1 and plus 1 cancel each other and the x comes equal to root 19. This is the first value of the x and uh, it comes through normal observation also and for the second root we take the negative sign and the value of x becomes equal to minus 1 minus 2 root 19 minus 1 by 2 and on simplification we get the value of x as equal to minus 1 plus root 19. So these are the two values of the roots of the given equation and both these values satisfy the given equation. In fact if you observe the other two methods like Vieta's formula and factorization method are much easier than this. This is done just to show and find how the quadratic formula performs for the evaluation of roots of this equation. Thanks for watching.